Hi guys, welcome to Northern Oz Explorer. I'm Drew. One of the more annoying things about owning a tailgate vehicle is the rear of the tailgate can be quite heavy. To assist in this, I've purchased an Aero Class tailgate assist, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install it. I'm a big believer in doing work yourself if you have the capacity to do so. In the first round of the fit out for the Hilux, we had everything done professionally by ARB. What I've got here is the instruction manual for the fitting of the ARB bull bar to the Hilux. This instruction manual is 23 pages long. So you can see why I wasn't overly keen to undertake that work myself. Having said that, I haven't looked inside the Aero Class box, so I'm not sure how long the instruction manual is, but I'm fairly confident it's not going to be 23 pages long. Prior to purchasing this system, we got a quote from TJM to have it installed. They wanted $200. So I think that for the amount of work that's gonna be required, it's probably a little bit excessive, uh, and I'm more than happy to undertake and do the work myself. So hopefully it's a fairly straightforward, easy process. So one of the questions probably asking is why did we go with the Aero Class system? There's a range of manufacturers that make tailgate assists. Some have struts on one side, some have them on both. They range in prices. ARBs I think is about 300. We paid I think about 200 for this system, somewhere around there. Main reason we went for the Aero Class is because it has a three year warranty, whereas all of the other tailgate assists that I looked at only had a 12 month warranty. Given it's a strut system, they're probably prone to having issues. So with that three year warranty, that sealed the deal for us and why we chose this particular product. So people use some weird terminology for this, calling it a special unboxing event. I just call it opening a box. So inside, got a couple of packets. Uh, we'll have a look in those shortly. And a strut which must fit in somewhere. So if we have a look at the instruction manual, I'm hoping that it's not 23 pages long. No, it's not 23 pages, it's five pages long. And we've got a second instruction manual, which is only double-sided. So hopefully, this will be fairly straightforward. So let's get cracking. So the most important thing you can do before undertaking any installation is making sure you read the instructions so you know precisely what is required. <clears throat> I've read through these, which are a little bit, um, there's a little bit of guesswork involved because there is no text. It's all just purely via pictures. Basically, there's two components to this. One component is installing essentially this bar, which takes the weight of the tailgate and has a um, plate that you install in the tailgated, the hinge section, which takes the weight as the tailgate goes down, because obviously just attaching it straight due to the weight of the tailgate, attaching it straight to the tailgate wouldn't be enough to support it and you'd wear out any hole or anything that you put in it to try and support it. And then the second part is the installation of the gas strut itself. So it looks like the first part is probably going to be the more time consuming part. You've got to pull off the rear of the um, backing of the tailgate, add some bolts, attach it in various different ways. And then for the final step is to put in the gas strut, which is what takes the weight and transfers it to uh, essentially to this plate in the back of the tailgate. So now that I've got my head wrapped around that, we'll get cracking and put it all together.
installation of the tailgate assist, the torsion bar was fairly straightforward to install. It was a little bit difficult once you had to get inside the rear of the tailgate because you've got to do it blind. It's a lot of sharp edges. I cut myself a number of times while I was fiddling around inside. I've got quite large hands, so probably easier to do that if, uh, if you've got someone with small hands nearby. So that was pretty straightforward. Had a bit of an issue with the rear tail light. I couldn't pull it actually away from the body, but that's okay. I just worked around it. I was able to get it far enough to the side. When I say I've almost finished, there's only one piece left that needs to be installed, which is the bracket for the gas strut on the side. The bolts that are holding the bracket in at the moment are a T40 bolt and I've tried to get them out both with a hand wrench and with a torque wrench, and I just can't remove them. I've actually bent the tip of the bit trying to remove the bolt. So I know when I'm defeated, so I'll take that in and I'll get, uh, get a mechanic to pull that off and install this, and then I'll be able to install the gas strut, which will be the final step in the process. But you can see already with the torsion bar, it's made a huge difference as to the ease in which the tailgate opens and closes. So the final step, get those bolts replaced, put in the gas strut, and then it'll be all completed. So that's pretty much it for today. And for this video, I'll give you another update once I've completed it and just show you the final little bit once it's installed. But uh, leave some comments below if you like the video and make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.